automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 1 oh. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Maybe. She isn't the only one, that's for sure. Ever since last night, it's been madness down here. Nothing but trouble. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the Overseer didn't like that one bit, and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? Okay, follow me. Wait here. 
This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You gonna lock me up like you did the brooch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! You don't Stay belong back. here anymore. Taylor, stop shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're gonna try something dangerous. I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Yes, you do. Cut it out! Damn, look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life, when I could go out there and make my own choices? Because you've always been a goody two-shoes. So when I need help, it's what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault, and I'll leave and never bother you again. Catch you later. Maybe. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! Oh, thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then, I found out it was all to protect a lie! I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives! After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this.
You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him, all right? I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know, maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks, and good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. I never thought you'd be back. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. I assume you're talking about the unpleasantness when you left? Yes? Jonas and your father were endangering the future success of this vault and the safety of its residents. I did what I had to do to keep them from destroying all we had achieved here. I only wish I could have prevented it from happening at all. Spoken like someone who's never had to make difficult decisions. Like someone who's never had to lead. Jonas was leaving with your father. Their departure would lead to others leaving as well. And before you know it, half of the vault would be gone. And then, our home, the last safe, pure bastion of humanity, would be reduced to a lonely handful of aging holdouts, too few to continue. I'm afraid you're the short-sighted one here. I'm simply keeping them safe and untouched by the war above. The real danger are the rebels and insurgents who insist on risking all of our lives just to die out there in the wastes. If they weren't trying to throw our lives away like that, we could go back to the peaceful life we once had. Everyone would be happy again. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My god, you're right. We won't last another hundred years whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity. And we're doomed. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. Good to see you again. Amata, everyone, listen closely. After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In I my never thought you'd to be keep back. us all safe, 
I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. Hey. It's good to see you again. I... I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. I know you are. And on behalf of the vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. No, it's not like that. But if you stay, it'll just keep causing more problems. The vault can't take any more infighting. It's just what has to be. It'll be a while before we're ready to really go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. With luck, we'll meet again. Amen. Goodbye. We'll miss you. It's good to see you again. You don't belong here anymore. It's a shame you gotta It's a shame you gotta go. But you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough. 